This was a strange and sudden and anticlimactic end to the cross-examination of Mike Duffy. The prosecutor asked him no questions, none, about the centerpiece of this whole affair, the $90,000 from Stephen Harper's chief of staff. It's always been the mystery at the heart of this case. How would the Crown prove that the $90,000 to repay Duffy's expenses was really a bribe, when the man who paid it, Nigel Wright, was not accused of paying a bribe? And if it was a bribe, why did Duffy loudly complain that Stephen Harper railroaded him? I was ordered by the Prime Minister, pay the money back. End of discussion. Nigel Wright was present throughout, just the three of us. Anything? Nigel Wright, of course, testified that he paid the money to get Duffy to admit that he'd made a mistake. We are going to voluntarily pay back my living expenses related to the house we have in Ottawa. Even so, today Duffy insisted he did not owe a dime, that his claims were valid, and prosecutor Mark Holmes had no questions on the bribery issue and never mentioned the 90000 And even though Duffy testified yesterday that he did not know that the money came from Wright, the Crown did not confront him with the different story he told to the Senate two years ago. Don't worry, Nigel said. I'll write the check. Problem. Statements made in Parliament are privileged. They can't be used in court. And the Crown has problems on other fronts, too. Today, Duffy said his claims for per diems on a Florida vacation were a human error by an assistant, not by him. And Prosecutor Holmes made this concession. Senator Duffy is insulated from criminal liability because so many of these claims were filled out by other people. So the Crown is unable to prove specifically that he knew they were false. Still, the Crown did make headway on Duffy's consulting contracts. Duffy says he billed the Senate for his personal trainer because he was designing a fitness plan for seniors. But he also said, it didn't work for me. I hate exercise. I want no part of it. So after 60 days in court, this case is not a slam dunk for either side. Court is back tomorrow to set a date for final arguments, but that likely won't be before the end of February, Peter. All right, Terry, thank you.